Hello everybody. This is Paula back to do a flip through on the Tale of Peter Rabbit, which is uh, the first book that I plan to do during the Easter season. Now this, none of the books I'm going to do are just Easter. They're just stories about bunnies or ducks or whatever. And um, things that make you think of Easter. And of course, if I had a baby chick one, I would do a baby chick one. But I don't. So, this is the book. It ended up being a, a chunky monkey. So, I made a muslin tie. And I used, I just zigzagged and straight stitched and made it fun. And tied it on here. So, it's strong. It's not going to go anywhere. You know, as far, I got to move this glaring light that's right on the book. Sorry, guys. I hope you can see okay. Um, anyway, so this is the Tale of Peter Rabbit, and I know you guys have seen me working on it this week, and, um, turned out really pretty. This is Ooh La La Cra Crafts, you know, she has lots of trims, and I've used a lot of stuff in here. Um, it's a double signature, but it's a big double signature. Okay, you can see that it is chunky, but it's very usable. And, um, I, you know, I had to use double the paper, so that, that affected things. <laughs> so, um, in, in this area is the book library card, the book library card, that makes no sense, library card. And I just put on here, this book belongs to, and stamped a cute little stamp on this polka dotted paper. I cut, I had the, um, the little pocket for the library card. This is what this is. I just, it was, it was way too coffee stained and I didn't want it on this white background. So I covered it with some of the pink paper and a little bit, um, of the pit, small pictures that were just random on, uh, the Tales of Peter Rabbit that I used in the book. And this is the first paper. And um, if you didn't know, I had to, because of the size, which is, uh, the book is seven and three-fourths by seven and just barely over seven and a fourth. So I had to cut double pages because, you know, the you, when you fold scrapbook paper, it's six inches, you know, on each side. Well, this is seven and a half inches. <laughs> You know, and seven, seven by seven and a half, I believe, is what these pages are. So what I ended up doing was I ended up cutting out two papers to represent one fold of a 12 by 12. And so it ended up being seven and a half by seven. And then after those two were, were cut, I would put them back to back, uh, the wrong side in, I guess I should say. And then I would cut a two inch strip. And I like to, I kind of alternated different prints. And then I stitch, I glued and stitched those on. So I just put a little stream of glue and then I put them on the two pieces of paper like this. And I stitched on that side and I stitched on this side. Now what I would say to you if I were doing it again, I would, I would make sure I just used an, a color that's neutral for everything. I used blue because I was accenting in blue. And so um, I ended up covering it up in a few places, depending on what was being put on the page. So that is how the paper was put together. I have never made any kind of clip for a book except the ticket clips, okay? And um, I just, Felt like I wanted to try something different. I saw some Heidi Swap uh, tickets that I just kind of tore apart and did my own thing. And then I started coming up with these ideas. So this is an old doily right here. Okay. You can tell when I get closer how old it is. And I doubled it. And uh, I slid my clip in the back. I just took a piece of paper and folded it down the middle and just clipped it over, put glue inside, added this word, and um, yeah. 
So I just went with some words I had on some scrapbook paper that just was had a lot of little sweet little words and I just thought well I'm going to use that. And I just decided I clip one on the front of each each signature so you can work throughout the signatures. Although this one has four clips in it just so you know. It has two this type and uh, one or the other. Here is the story. I typed it on with a typewriter font and shortened the story to the point that it tells the story but it doesn't have to be on every page. And this went along with a, another Peter Rabbit book. And that's where I've got my images. Because this book was like a pop-up book. So we have all kinds of paper in here. I stamped all the tea stained, um, or the tea and coffee stained paper. This one is stained pretty light because there's a lot of white in the book. And then we've got some grid. We've got some cute little floral paper, note paper, ledger. And um, listen, I would have kept adding, but I couldn't get another thing in this book. You know, I wanted you to have some blank spaces. This is one of the very first YouTube videos I did. I think it was the very first. And I hadn't given it away yet because it was a pastel. And I hadn't really done anything pastel. So here you go. It's got a tag in the back. And it folds open. It has a small tag on the inside. This was my very first video. And I was very nervous, and you can tell when you listen to it that I was nervous. Because I'm not an out front kind of person, so it was really unusual for me. So then we have some more planner. We got some pretty butterfly paper. And more tea stain paper. Stamped some corners. Now, this is the vintage uh, Easter um, postcard. And I just clipped it over the top of a page, decorated the inside with the, another lily. But really, it's about being able to display this old vintage um, card. And if, if you notice, I put four slits in this paper. And that's how it fits. But I wanted you to be able to flip it over and see the date and so forth on this one it was april the 7th 19 it looks like 1909 i know this stamp was one cent so <laughs> it can't be too young and this is a fragile card so i didn't want to do anything that um would you know mess up the not show the age or mess up the age or where you couldn't look at the letter on the back and if you decide to you know put it in something where it can't be messed up that's up to you um there we go and it just i love anything that flips over a page and displays nicely because it gives you that option of changing things around which i think is great in journals Okay, so here we go. Some more planner papers. I mean, just copy paper. Um, this is printer paper here. This is a, um, a list, you know, for what you need, things to do type list. This is a giant envelope. See this big envelope? I got it in a vintage shop with a bunch of vintage cards. And I just cut, I didn't like what was on the front, so I just covered it with some of this, this mini floral. And I used Ooh La La Hearts trim. And it turned out great. And on the back, I cut this, the opening out bigger so that, you know, you would be able to get, um, I forgot to take this little stop. I didn't want it to glue to my page, so I stuck something in there. But anyway, it's just got a big... Easter journaling card, which is really cute. And then here is a, a handkerchief that I did on a triangle made out of manila to hold to be a corner tuck to hold our sweet little little bunny with his egg. Isn't he cute? And I've got a dolly behind him. So he's precious. All the laces that are on the edges of the book are just out of my stash. Now, on this one, you can see where I did the flip. 
and it's using that same doily that I did the clip with at the beginning. These little flowers come from Ooh La La Crafts. You guys go over there and check her out and tell her that I sent you. Um, she's she's just got some beautiful trims and fabrics and you know all of that. So I know you'll enjoy shopping in her store. And just more tea stain papers, different types of papers. Uh, couldn't do a lot of folds because it wasn't really that much width in the book. Here's the page two of the story. Here's the center of the first signature. And here we have the charms on this book. One is a butterfly, one is a bunny. Um, and then I use pastels blue. Uh, pink and clear for the beads and so then we go on here is a pocket that's made out of some of the paper from the kit here is a little file folder that says believe and it has some of Ooh La crafts hearts and here is a cute little uh, tag and it has little holes right here I don't know if you can see that now I did a button here at the top and I loved that this fit in my sidekick on my table so I didn't have to you know it's one that can stay right here and I can just grab don't have to get up and go through all my stash to find it here's some more tea paper tea stain paper ledger here's another little pocket I made let me move this over just a little bit it looks like there's a little bit of a shadow I don't know if that's just me um, let me get over here Okay, this is a little tag I made, and I stenciled this little tulip, and I plugged the hole with a little flower also, and uh, made this pocket to go with it, and this is just some la lace I had in my stash. Up here is a decoupage, um, on a decoupage card. I love the way it feels when they're decoupaged, and then I just slipped it over the top, and um, made it like a little set. I'm kind of getting where I do that a little bit. I'll make more than one thing out of one design. Um, so here's the back of that. Now, underneath is the top of that giant envelope. And I just put lace across it. And if you want, you can add something in here. Some more printer paper things to do list and just a bunch of different fun easy to journal pages here's a belly band just put some vintage music in there you could change that out to something you would like in there and on the back is a pocket i made out of index an extra large index and not index rolodex type card and then i just used a um, index card to decorate and here's the other clip that i showed you earlier I just housed it right here because it kind of matches. Now there's something else in the book that matches with this as well. Here's some more um, stamping. Different pages. Here is the trifold, uh, uh, kind of a gatefold, however you want to call it. I put doilies on and folded them around, but then I decided I wanted to make it a... And you can put something here on top if you want. Um, I, I left all the different options, and this little string comes off, off the grommets, and it just really is a cute little bunny. So you can change it into whatever you want, and then you just twist it around under your little circles... And it comes, it goes right back on. So there you go. Okay, so yeah, and this top does hold a tag if you want it to. All right, here's some more tea stained items. I have not counted the papers, but there's a lot. This is an old, old, came out of an old giant photo album, and it's in great condition. And it, you know, folds nicely and everything. So I put that in here. Because it's actually one piece that makes the, the fold. And here's the little bunny story again. 
And that was the end of signature one. Now we've got signature two over here. It says happy. I'll take this clip off so you can see what it looks like too. It's just a couple little flagged pieces of fabric. And I put some Ooh La La Crafts trim on there and did the same thing with the clip. And I love the way these little clips turn out. There's all kinds of ways, I bet, to make them. I've never watched any videos on them, so um, I don't know really what's out there. I haven't had time to do that, so I've been just doing my own thing. There's some more of the story, some more of that old photo paper, a grid, ledger, a quote that you can read. Here is another one of the tea stain paper, which some of those do have fold outs. Here is a flat pocket with some trim I have around the house here. And I just did a little envelope with a stamped butterfly and then a button butterfly here. And then it has a little card inside. And I would recommend you put it down, um, not the side that has the button. I think it'll fit better in here. And then here's from like video three, four, or five, um, these uh, distressed oxide tags I made. Here's a yellow polka dot with some of the heart trim from Ooh La La Crafts. And on this little, <coughs> excuse me, I was having a hard time talking because I was trying not to cough. Because I'm lazy and I didn't want to get over there and get my drink. <clears throat> I'm not coughing normally, but I do cough when I start to talk. I don't know what the deal is. So this is a polka dot pocket with the Ooh La La Crafts uh, trim and a little card that says Happy Spring. And both of these, this one has Ooh La La Crafts uh, little tiny trim. It's so cute. And then these little buttons are two different buttons that I plug the holes with. I really love doing that. <laughs> It's my new thing that I enjoy doing. And um, so anyway, and off we go. Some of the same papers in between. And this is something we did on a video together. It's a claim check or a uh, guest check. We just collaged away and we made this out of a giant index card. And we just got carried away in blue and pink, which worked out for this. And then there's another clip right here. Has a rosette on it. Well, if I get my hands to work, it's hard to get around there and fix it whenever you can't see through the camera very well. <laughs> okay. And just on we go. Here's some more stamping. They're stamping throughout. And uh, some more of the story. Here's the center signature uh, on number two. Has the same beads. You can't really see the beads well, but they are really pretty. Here's a cute little envelope. That I decorated and put a little pocket in front. And then just made a little folder. And stuck it in there and this is Christie's trim like what's on the front of the book and this is one of her little flowers with beads really one of the cutest books I've done I think as far as you know it's, it's introduction to the spring is what I call it here's an envelope that matches the one I just did back I showed you with the big index card and it has a card inside. You just pull it out and have fun. Okay. Just clip it back on with your, your paper. Oops, I'm losing my pocket stuff here. All right, here's another little pocket that I built. Built. <laughs> yes, I took a hammer and nails and some wood and, and paper, a hammer and nails and paper and built it. Okay, anyway, and then this is another one of those cute little um, pockets with a tag. And here I found these little Easter cards when I was at a vintage shop. 
and I just thought they were so cute. So I'm putting it right here behind that little tag. Again, you can move this stuff all around. This is two file folders. If you take the tags out, you can see that. And I just glued them down the sides together so it would make a place for three tags. And then I sewed along the bottom and attached it to the page. I thought it turned out cute. This is from an early video too, the tag in the back. Some corner punch. Okay, and with just same papers there. And here's the end of the story. Let me scoot the book over so you can see. And the end of the book. So, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the process of making our first Easter book. And uh, I hope you'll go check it out on Etsy. And probably we'll be doing another page uh, in the rainbow book in the next video. And then we're going to do the little fuzzy duck. It's a little golden book uh, for the second book in the Easter series. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you go. I am including this really sewn to pieces muslin. <laughs> I wanted it to be sturdy to to uh, keep the book closed and when you weren't using it. So that's why I, I, I made that. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Welcome to all the new subbies. I appreciate you coming and joining our channel. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. We do all kinds of journals and embellishments and sometimes things different. Um, so that's today's video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, also this will be in my Etsy store. Um, it'll probably be late this evening, but it will be in there this evening sometime. Just start checking after nine and it will be in there uh, for sure sometime tonight. All right guys, see you later. Bye.